Yeah, it's Hobbs Horror, knocking down your door, all about the guts and gore, blood and pus, give him some more, he wants bone and entrails for across the floor, so if you're looking for that theater macabre, look no more, sit back and relax and enjoy some Hobbs Horror. Thank you for watching Hobbs Horror, Hobbs Horror, Hobbs Horror. Yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good shit, good shit, good shit. Welcome to Horror Cult Exploitation. This is Hobbs Horror, your host. And today we're talking about a film called Damon's Revenge. He's coming for you. Starring Tom Sizemore. Chelsea Vale. Also an appearance of Tommy Dreamer in this one. And, you ready for this? You heard me correctly. Michael Madsen from the Kill Bill films. So there is the front of your film. There is the back of your film. Take a look at what we got going on there. I want to thank MVD Entertainment, MVD Visual for this particular layout. For sending me this to review for you guys. Approximately 89 minutes long. Wide screen presentation. And gets approximately a 2.8 on IMDb. But again. Opinions vary with this movie. As most movies do. This is actually a sequel to a film that I have not originally seen the original title to be able to tell you what it is. I looked it up. Um, what we have here is we have a group of kids. One who has a, a huge history in the town. They decide to go on this random trip to kind of cut loose. They're older now, so they've all got jobs and stuff. And they have to go to this remote cabin and get in jacuzzi and party and whatnot. But meanwhile, there's a killer on the loose. And they have to find a way to subdue the killer. And basically survive the night. But there's also a lot of history with the town. A lot of history with the killer. That basically kind of... You really have to pay attention to understand the ins and outs of this movie. Now, I've been dreading watching this movie. And I'll tell you the reason why. I did not feel like that cover was really selling me on the movie. I mean, you would think that it would. And then I watched it. Did it change my opinions on the movie? What I thought it was going to be? Not particularly. Um... There were too many stories with it. Too many backstories, in my opinion, on this to kind of really focus on the main point of the movie. I thought the acting was was so so. You know, your more seasoned actors did well, and I feel like some of the other actors and actresses just had parts that were a little off the cusp. Let's just put it that way. Uh, the kills were okay. I mean, there were people that were being killed in a brutal fashion. Not a whole lot of TNA. For a slasher film, you got to have a little bit. There was some, just not enough. But I could not get into Damon's Revenge. It's just not my cup of tea. I do think the performance of um, Madsen and... Tom Sizemore was great. You do get to see Tommy Dreamer from the ECW, WWE, all those wrestling groups for a little bit in the film. I actually think he could have been used a little better. Now, there's some history about our killer, and there's some twists in the movie. This isn't a really well-known movie, to be quite honest with you. I don't think a lot of people from our community have talked about it. But in the comments, let me know if you've seen Damon's Revenge. And if you've seen Damon's Revenge, 
is your opinion different than mine? Did you like it? I'd have to give it an overall, maybe a 1.5. I just did not like Damon's Revenge. Um, but I still, I want to thank NVD Entertainment for sending me this to review. Hey, they're not always going to be winners, but majority of the ones I've reviewed lately have been really good. So, anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review. More to come. Don't forget to watch the playlists. Connect if you're not already connected to the channel. Hit that notification bell as I review and do film reviews every week. Catch up with you guys later. Peace. Hops whore. Get you on the flip. Welcome, welcome to the house on the A6 block. I'm just chilling on the porch in my chair. I rock. I'm your host, Jimmy Biggs, with the coolest crib. The only light outside is the full moon grip. Welcome, welcome to a world mixed with evil and good. If you ain't plan on staying, then you misunderstood. This ain't a nightmare. The figment of imagination. Step inside and the house will awaken. Skeleton, the great if he had known.